little bit of Wizards and Warriors for you by Rudy J. Ferretti. Not an easy feat for me. But one of the very best games I've ever played. Uh, so here we go. The object of the game is that you want to get out of each stage as fast as possible, get what you need to get, and just get in and out of the stage as fast as you can, almost like a fastest completion, even when you're going for a high score. Because what happens is, if you stay in the same stage for too long of a period of time, it's not beneficial. Number one, you can't leech in this game anyway. It would be cheating according to Twin Galaxy's rules. But the thing is, there's so much more bonuses out there for you to be able to gain a perfect score of 999999. So you just want to get what you need to get and get out because what will happen is you'll just die. Eventually, too many enemies will come out and they will kill you and that will be it. So, as you can see, I just try to run through it as fast as possible. Start pick up some food here. You always want to be facing the um, the opposite way that the spider is facing you when you go up the ladder. As you can see, you want to face the spider the way he's facing you, which would be the opposite. You don't want to be facing away from when he's facing you, because if you are, you will get hurt. But as long as you're facing him, usually 99.9% .9 of the time, you won't get killed or hurt. And um, you got two kinds of gems. You got gems that are worth two gems and gems that are worth one gem. Um, and, you know, you definitely need the dagger throwing. Red potions obviously keep you from getting hurt for a short period of time. The one thing I can tell you that's very important to have in this game, and some people say that it's not, is the Boots of Force which is to my left over there that I'm going to get here shortly after I get bumped up here to get my shield of protection. I never thought I would get as good at this game as I actually did. This score was no easy feat. It took a lot of practice. Um, I figured I'd put it up on YouTube because it was an unbeatable score and uh, share some more tactics with you guys. Sometimes you can find hidden uh, gem sacks like that. As you can see, I didn't get the Boots of Force. Um, normally I do right away, but you can get it another time later in the game. So you'll see why I do that in a minute. But the Boots of Force come, become very handy towards near the end of the game, when you get into the later stages, to be able to kick things out of the way, which I'll show you here later. I'm going to stay here to the right here so you can grab those foods. It's very important. But the uh, throwing dagger, you don't want to get it too overpowerful and you don't want to leave it too underpowerful. But as you can see, I got out of the first stage really fast here. Pretty simple to fight him here. You want to have a decent power of your dagger. Just jump up and over him and let it go back and forth. Pretty simple. So. We go on to the second stage here, stage I used to hate very much. Number one, there's two reasons why I hate the stage. It's hard to get that stupid leather, uh, that um, uh, <laughs> feather, <laughs> as you probably already know. And sometimes that bat can be a bitch, just kill you, no matter how good you are. It's too bad I didn't get the Boots of Force that early. See, I could have kicked open the treasure chest with the Boots of Force without having the key, which makes it easier to complete the game. But the thing is, it's nice about that you can use that later on for fastest completion if you get good enough with the game. I myself have not done fastest completion yet. So, I'm going to go over here and get some more gems. You know, you don't need to go crazy and leech the boards. You don't need to go too crazy, you know, and leech points. Number one, you can't, you're not allowed to do that. But number two, it's not necessary. There's enough bonuses and enough extra items throughout the game and things you'll have to do in order to get to your 999999. But uh, that, love, that uh, feather that I'm going to get here in just a few minutes here is very imperative to have. Obviously, the Potion of Levitation is a must. It works on certain enemies, which you don't want to overuse, which I'll explain later on in the game. But you want to have that. As you know, the pink potion makes you jump higher, the blue potion makes you run faster. You definitely want to get all the keys. 
and get as many items as you possibly can. Try to save your food. Don't use it unless it's absolutely necessary. Because if you take it when you're not supposed to and you're going to need it later, it could put you in a world of hurt. Right now, I probably shouldn't have grabbed those first two foods, but that's all right. I'm going to levitate back up here. And I'm going to go up and up until I get to the point where I'm going to go get my um, light feather. That helps you complete the game a lot faster. I mean, you also need that for later stages. With, without it, it, it would be almost impossible to beat the game without it, in my, in my personal opinion. Um, you know. This game, though, over the years was very difficult for me. I was always upset because it was so hard for me to, you know, beat it for the longest time. See, it's a bitch sometimes to jump over there to the right to get to that damn feather. Sometimes I could do it in one try. Sometimes it takes 50 tries. It just depends. Hopefully, if I ever go for a fastest completion, I do it on one try. <laughs> and that feather will let you fall a lot slower when needed. It really comes in handy later on in the game. But, uh, you know, it just depends on, on what uh, your style of play is. So, we definitely might as well get the food now because I'm going to go basically to the end of this stage now and do what I have to do to get out of here. But since I'm going for a high score, I'm going to go for some more gems over here. Grab my red potion. You definitely want to grab everything you can in sight without getting hurt by the enemies. Like I said, you know, don't overdo it. If it's not needed and, you know, you don't need it, don't go for it. It's not worth it. You can lose very easily and lose all your lives in one stage. It doesn't take very, very much. I mean, and if you watch me play this, you'll see that I have not totally mastered this game, despite the fact that I get a world record score, a perfect score. There's so many secrets I've missed and items. I know that for a fact, and I don't even know where they are, and I don't even care. Like I said, there's so much bonuses. You know, you can always get a perfect score. So now we're going to go to the bat here. He's never an easy feat. Just use your levitation here to get rid of these bats shortly because if you try to kill them with your sword you're basically playing Russian roulette so as you can see I'm already at over a hundred thousand points and we haven't even beat the second enemy yet and the keys go way up in value throughout the game so it's pretty interesting but as you can see just so you know right now the four items you must always have is the dagger thrower the uh, throwing dagger the special protection shield, you definitely need that, that, that uh, what do you call it, feather, and you definitely need the potion of levitation. No two ways about it, they're all musts. As you see, you very easily die to the bat. The bat can really fuck you up real easy if you don't know what you're doing. I'm not even fighting him really that well right now, although I do come back in the end and really give him a run for his money, don't I? And see, I use my levitation potion to take care of the little demons. I love that sound of the score going up, don't you? But, uh, moving forward, this next stage is very tricky, too. And without the uh, feather, I don't see how it's even um, possible to beat it. I mean, of course, it can be done, but it's a little difficult at times. As you can see, I'm not going to need to get every single little stupid thing in this stage. There's no reason to. You're risking yourself early, instantaneous death. Just get what you need, get up, and get out. Kind of like uh, the video game Loaded for um, PlayStation. Get up and get out! Get up and get out! <laughs> yeah, that, that was one of my favorites back in the day. Just the music. I used to love listening to the music. So we go through the door here. You don't need to go all the way to the top to get the um, rest of those gems. You can, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to go up here right now with my um, levitation. Get up there get to the treasure chest I need to get in order to get the next item that's very important. Two items, actually. So, so you just want to hover, hover over really carefully, get the red key, get your gems. You definitely need that, but the next item you need more than anything is going to be the axe. Without the axe, again, I don't think it would be very easy to beat the game. I mean, some people probably do keep the dagger, but... This uh, axe is really useful in later stages, especially against certain enemies and certain um, 